Hey everybody, it's Tuesday, welcome to Life Strategies with Nat. I'm outside today because it's gorgeous. Let me just put these back on. <clears throat> Sorry, how's everyone doing? So we're here for episode 33 on Life Strategies with Nat. We're here every Tuesday talking about how you can eliminate overwhelm, eliminate confusion, as a woman in business, as an entrepreneurial woman, hey Sakshi, and <clears throat> sorry I've got a little tickle in my throat. Everything I'm going to talk about today is relevant to anyone, but I've kind of, every time I come on here, I have the entrepreneurial woman in mind because I'm a female entrepreneur and I know exactly what you're going through, trust me. Um, <clears throat> sorry. I, if anyone saw my post yesterday, and sorry, hey, um, I got my shades on because it's just a bit bright, but if anyone saw my post yesterday, I was talking to you about how I lost my mojo two years ago, and it's kind of funny because I'm talking to a lot of people who are feeling like this right now in their life, in their business, they feel stuck, they feel super fatigued, they feel like they're not where they want to be, um, they feel like the life has been sucked out of them, like they have no energy, no motivation, Just maybe you're starting to feel aches and pains in your body, um, and then of course there's the lack of focus, the brain fog sits in, brain fog sits in. Um, so if you guys are watching, let me know that you're here. Give me a hey, give me some hearts, give me some likes. Um, if you're on replay, give me a hashtag replay because I always like to come in and say hello to all of your, I always like to say hello to all of you. And, and if you have questions, of course, um, comment below because I'll be checking out for them. We've got a lot to go through here. Um, and I want to start off with how do you get, how does it happen? Like, how do you all of a sudden find yourself in a funk and what does it feel like? So I kind of talked about what it feels like. So you feel down, you feel like fatigued, no energy. It's a struggle to get out of bed. Just like life is like, it feels harder than usual. And it could be to the point where it's even just like a struggle to get out of bed in the morning. Um, at least that's what it was like, was like for me and especially like the body aches and pains. So one of the first, <clears throat> one of the first things that tends to happen is that we don't take care of ourselves. So this is stuff like exercise. We need to be doing exercise 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes a day at minimum, just to keep our body moving, get that energy flowing. <clears throat> excuse me and then it's like what are you eating like we are on the go constantly we're all about fast food sorry there's like a butterfly around me um which is kind of nice but um what is like the fast what is the fast like everyone wants fast food but like fruit vegetables those are like the fastest foods you can get um but we tend to <laughs> it's like this butterfly is attacking me um, we tend to, ooh, like just let ourselves, oh my goodness, um, hang on, sorry guys, okay, come on, shoo, um, okay, so we don't, yeah, we want to just, it's hilarious, it's not, whether it's, it's, if it's tech, if it's not tech, it's like something else, like, like butterflies, um, Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry, so you're not moving, um, you're not eating right, so when we, when you combine stress with it, we tend to just want the carbs, the sugars, all that stuff, like, so we reach for candies, we reach for, you know, just stuff that is not good for us, and then there's the sleep, or what I like to say, rest, because, oh my god, they're back, um, because rest, it's not just, are you getting enough sleep? That's definitely a huge part of it. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Um, 
but it's the rest. Like, are you slowing down? Um, are you getting enough sleep? For sure, that's part of it. Um, are you taking, like, are you, restful walks even can be a form of rest. Are you drinking enough water? I was reading a book um, that was around, like, are you, are you unhealthy or are you just thirsty? And um, it was all about how we can think that we are... We can think that we are, um, like, not drinking enough. Oh, sorry. We can think that we're sick, that we feel sick, but it's actually a sign that we're not drinking enough water. So it's all connected. There's so many little things. How else it happens? We're not living on purpose. So it's like, it's like that soul cry, you know, if you've ever heard that term. But it's like literally like your soul is crying for you and you're not aligned to your values and you're doing things that you don't like you're doing things for the sake of doing them just to get a paycheck or just to please other people or you know it's just got the most I don't know just un, unappealing reason why you're doing things it's not for you it's not because you're passionate about it it's not because you value or you believe in it truly it's like you feel like it's something you just have to do that will zap your energy. That will make it just so hard to get out of bed. <clears throat> the other thing that tends to happen is we're not healthy from the inside out. So I kind of touched on it. But this is stuff even like toxic thoughts, mind, body, soul stuff. So the way you think about yourself, the way you speak to yourself. Um are you overthinking? Are you blocked? Like, do you have money blocks? Are you always worried about something in particular? Um, toxic buildup is another thing that happens. You know, we, whether it's from the food we ate, the products that we use, um, the air that we breathe, the sun that we get or don't get, like all of these things impact your life. And it's something that we, oops, we tend to go through, um, in the first module of like my coaching or anything it's one of the first things we look at especially in the mentorship program um and how this tends to look is if you have toxic buildup this is for sure linked to brain fog this is for sure linked to low energy you get aches and pains you may feel constipated you have might have a change in body odor even skin issues so when I was in wealth management, like in my corporate world, I was schooling part-time, working full-time, and I also had a very toxic relationship that I was in. And one day, I broke out into hives, like all over my arms. It was awful. I went to the dermatologist and took, a, you know, we did what we needed to do and everything came back fine, but it was the stress that had caused that. Um... And then limiting beliefs, like this is another thing that gets in our way, that gets, that, that tends to lead us into this funk, this, this P, this state of being where we're not ourselves, we just, you know, we feel like we're not good enough, like we're, we're missing something, like we need more training, we need more designations, we just don't feel like the experiences or what we have are good enough, i.e. we are not good enough. That's how you feel. Um, things like you feel like, oh, I don't have any money, so I have to stay in this job. Or things like, um, you know, like, oh, I'm fat or I'm ugly or like all these things that we tend to think about. Basically anything that you say to yourself that is somewhat negative. Um, so I think you guys get it. Let me know if you don't, if you guys are feeling any of these, if this is hitting home with you, drop a comment, let me know, give me some hearts. Um, because now I want to get into the strategies. So how can you, or what can you do to help you get, get your mojo back to help you get out of this funk? And so I have a few. 
and trust me, it's not all of them, but I just picked out, you know, the top 10. I might have actually thrown in 11. So grab a pen and paper because what I wanted to actually mention is Fridays I usually do a blog. This, I'm changing things up because I want to have more time to give you more real-time um, value. So this means that I'm going to be online more, in there for you, so I can focus on... If you're in the life strategies with Nat and my group, we'll, I'll be there way more often. So I'll put the link below and you can join at any time. And you'll also, you'll still, if you are on my insiders list, you'll definitely still get the replay of this. But um, I wanted to free up some time that I could focus on you and give you more value. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, so let's get into the strategies. I've got my paper here so that I don't miss anything. Okay, the number one thing, or I just want to start actually, is address your stress. So <clears throat> if you're overwhelmed, if you're stressed, if you're confused, you feel lost, nip this, ask for help. It is um, extremely... Like your, your body, your emotions, they are there to help you, give you signals as to when you need to take action. So if you're in this state, it means that you have ignored, basically, and I'm just speaking from personal experience, okay? So um, I got to a point where I just ignored all of the signs, and I got to a point where I literally felt like the life had been sucked out of me, this part where you have no mojo left you're in a funk um stress was a huge part of it and I just ignored the signs until it was almost too late until I did something about it right until I made a choice um but chronic stress if your body's living in chronic stress that means your body is content is consistent consistently more or less in fight or flight mode so survival mode so your, um, your hormones are all over the place. Um, you know, your stress hormones are kicking in, are firing constantly. And what that tells your body is shut down everything that's not vital. So yeah, keep my, keep my heart pumping, keep me breathing. But you know, other stuff, it, your body will say, forget it. It's not important. She's in survival mode. It's like you're getting chased by a saber-toothed tiger. Only it's not a saber-toothed tiger. It's our stress because we no longer have to deal with those, thankfully. Don't have to deal with dinosaurs or anything like that. But our brains don't and our bodies don't know that. It's just a different kind of stress. So um, if you're feeling like this, ask for help. Talk to your friends, talk to your family, get a coach, reach out to me if you need to. Um, and let's, you know, get some support, get some accountability to what it is you're going through and just release what it is that you're, what it is that you have. You know, we are, it's, it's part of, it is a part of being vulnerable is asking for help, but, um, you know, it, don't suffer alone is what I'm saying. Number two, practice an attitude of gratitude. So this is like a little baby step that you can take every day. Every morning I wake up, and I would highly recommend you do this, but I say three things that I'm grateful for. And it can start off small. So I'm grateful for the sun shining. I'm grateful for this beautiful bed that I'm in. I'm grateful for my pillow. I'm grateful for my clothes that I'm about to, that my closet is full of clothes right now. I'm grateful that I have food on the table. I'm grateful that I have running water. I'm grateful for my bills that I get every month because that allows me to have running water um, and electricity just by flicking on a switch. Like how blessed are we? And sometimes we just need to remind ourselves of that because it's so easy to forget that stuff. Um, so number three, start moving. So little by little, um, little by little, what you want to do is 
and you might find okay mel robbins has a great book about this it's um the five second rule i don't know if any of you have heard it but it's amazing um and she talks about how she basically had created this five second rule out of her own need to take massive action and it basically goes like this so if you picture like a rocket ship it goes five four three two one lift off so if you find yourself and, and sorry there's a bit of science around it because it takes about five seconds to talk for your brain to talk you out of it and just remember you are in control not your mind your mind is there for sure but you are in control um, so things like leaving your alarm in the other room or on the dresser so that you physically have to get out of bed. That's something, baby steps, if that's where you're at, just start moving a little bit every day, five minutes a day, go for a walk around the block, um, do some push-ups in the morning, do a plank in the morning. Um, just get moving, whatever it is, even if like literally just jumping up and down, doing skipping rope, anything, just get moving. Um, because it's going to release good, good, good hormones. It's going to release those, um, that serotonin that you, that you desperately need at this point to start bringing yourself back into balance. Um, number four, journal. So journal about your food, journal about your thoughts, especially if you're in a place where they're somewhat negative and just explore them. You know, um, it took me a long time to get into journaling because I thought it had to be done a certain way and I always felt like I needed to make so much time for it, but it can literally be like just having a little notebook by you and whenever you feel like you have thoughts that you just want to get out of, get out of your mind onto paper, I do a brain dump at least once a week. And I do it whenever I feel, um, sorry, there's a plane. Whenever I feel super um, fuzzy or just overwhelmed, or like my my to do list is taking it like going out of getting out of control, because we're creatives, like entrepreneurial women, we are creative. We have a ton of ideas, and yeah. So it's actually problems can be experienced as we change as we change from renewal rather than stress. Life is beautiful but not always easy. Yeah, hundred percent. Problems too and the challenge lies in facing them with courage, letting the life of act like a a bomb which makes the pain bearable during time during trying times by providing hope. Love it. Um absolutely. Like it's all about that frame of mind, right? Um, and these are just different strategies that you can choose, like, feel free to take what you want and leave what you don't want. Cause these are strategies that I've used, you know, throughout my journey that I've helped people, that I've taught people to use throughout their journey. And, you know, um, I just find journaling and all of these strategies really have their time and place. Um, the other thing is that you can use aromatherapy. So, um, you know, essential oils, amazing to help you try to get that balance back. Um, they actually have amazing properties that can, depending on what you need, plants, plants can be used as an amazing medicine. And I'm not saying that that's what they are. Um, and that there's not a place for, you know, man-made medicine. There's definitely a place for that. But, you know, I always start with food first, food and plants. Um, just make sure they're therapeutic grade and that they're of quality because you don't want to be using anything that has toxic stuff in it already, whether it be alcohol or certain additives. So, if you need help with that, let me know. Just reach out to me or comment oils or something and um, I'll reach out to you and help you get started on that or just give you some more insights or just be able to ask any questions you might have about it. Um, yoga is my next strategy for you. So I teach yin yoga 
but you know, you are made up of so many different energy lines. You have energy lines running through you. And I don't have enough time to go through each one of them and where they're at. Um, but what I will say, and I'm actually just going to read this because I loved when I, when I found it. Um, so, as a living being, you are an expression, a channel, a particular configuration or pattern of energy of creative life force. Creative life force flows through you. Energy flows through you and enlivens you and makes you, you. Stress, worries, negative feelings, thoughts, they block your energy flow. Um, so if that's when, if you think about, you know, if you think about yourself in a situation where you've thought negatively about yourself, maybe you tend to like tighten your jaw or you tighten your hips or you clench your fists if you're frustrated. So it's those kinds of things. Hey, Eric. Um, so the next one I wanted to talk to you about is eliminating toxins. So we kind of talked about this, but it's like toxic thoughts, toxic food, toxic ingredients, toxic people. Just get rid of them. Get rid of whatever doesn't serve you anymore um, because you don't realize how much of an impact, we, we don't realize how much of an impact our environment has on us. And our environment can be people, career, mindset, purpose, you know, the water, the food, movement, all of it, 12 elements of, of life really is what I like to look at and use as part of our, as a part of the Wellness 360 philosophy, but everything is so connected. So if you can eliminate toxins from your body, you're going to be that much, you're going to feel that much better and you're going to be able to have that energy flowing through you again, like we talked about earlier. The next thing I want you to do, or another strategy that you can use is finding your joy doing things you love. So if you if you're at a point where you've lost your mojo, you you're not feeling it anymore, like you just want to take off to Timbuktu and just be alone. <laughs> That's another like little signal if you just want to just take off um, you know, do things you love. So I like to have a list of things that I'm like, oh, what did I, what did I used to love doing? I used to love painting, dancing, all that stuff. So every now and again, if I feel myself kind of slipping into a bit of a funk or a bit of a state that's not my peak state, then I'll be like, okay, I need some more fun in my life. I've been working too hard or I've been doing too much of this. We're not perfect. We just have to go with the flow and see what happens, right? Um... And the, the next strategy I want to say is hang out with the best people. I mean, people that just light you up, that have your back no matter what, that are happy for you when you succeed, that want to see you progress and keep going. Get rid of anyone else who doesn't. Anyone else that sucks your energy or, you know, just... You know the people in your life that are like this, um, and I know it's hard, but people, like, throughout your life, you're going to have people come and go, and that's just part of it, and so you have to decide who you, you get to decide, actually, who you keep into your life, who do you keep into your close circle, whose energy do you want around you that can propel you forward, that can help you progress. Um, hey, Eric. Um... Okay, so the la well, actually, I have two more. Um, love yourself. That's another strategy. Just love yourself. Love yourself enough to know that it's going to be okay. And trust your gut. If your gut is telling you you need a change, but, oh, you can't leave your job because you're, you, you need that salary or whatever else, that's your own, that's you getting in your own way. Loving yourself is trusting yourself enough that you've got what it takes to make it happen. There is nothing going to stop you. 
And so what? You might hit, you know, if, if you do quit your job, just do it so that in a way, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying quit your job. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you're at that point where you feel like you're not aligned with it, look for other opportunities. You always have a choice. Um, you know, self-discipline is an act of self-love. So get rid of those habits that are no longer serving you. Like, look in the mirror and like say to yourself, I love you. <laughs> I know it sounds corny, but it's, it absolutely works. And I think the next, the, the only thing I'm going to leave you with is, you know, make a choice to take a chance and forever change your life. Like, be adventurous. I used to be so risk averse. You know, I didn't want to spend money. I played it really safe. You know, I'm just going to stay in my safe little comfort zone. But that, you know, Tony Robbins says this, like, if we're not growing, we're dying a little bit inside. Like, um, and it's honestly, you've got this. You you've come this far and you've made it through so much already don't you get to create your own crystal ball you get to see what you want to see and you get to choose how you're going to choose to get there and if you are still feeling overwhelmed and confused about this or just can this overwhelmed in general stressed out go see a doctor like don't wait don't put it off anymore um you want to be at a point where you love your life. Like, you love every day. Every day gets better. I'm not saying it's going to be perfect and hunky-dory all the time. That's not realistic. But generally speaking, we should feel happy. We should feel like our energy is what dictates our mojo, basically. If I'm high energy, if I'm high vibe, I've got my mojo. I, there's nothing stopping me. If I'm super low vibe, if I'm down on myself, if I'm fatigued, if I'm stressed, there's no, I mean, how am I supposed to run a business? How am I supposed to run my life properly? It's so much harder. Um, and I, I get it. Like, I get the feeling of feeling fatigued. I get the feeling when you feel like the life has been sucked out of you. I get it. I get the fear. I get the fear of not you know, having enough money or, and it's, it's just that, just label for, label it what it, as what it is. It's fear. It's not reality. It's not truth. We are resourceful and that's how we have to think about everything. If we don't have the money now, that's okay. Cause I can get it. If I don't have the relationship that I want, that's okay. Cause I'm, I was, I, I, I'm going to get it. Like, you are enough and you are exactly where you need to be right now. And you just, you just be okay with that and you just love it. And, you know, I'm living proof that you can change it. You can turn your life around. I'm not saying that you have to quit your job and move to Spain and travel the world. <laughs> That's something I wanted to do that I discovered along my journey. But it's about finding your passion, finding what it is you, you want to live for and living, like live it, live your life. Like, oh God, if I, I just, I want everyone to feel like I feel. And if you, you know, I, if you want, like we can definitely have a conversation. Um, but you know, if you're ready for a drastic change in your life, comment yes below. And let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, guys, that was, um, that was the show for today. That's all those strategies that I talked about. They've all been, they've all been strategies that I've used in the past two years. And there's so many more, but there's only so much time I have. And there's only so much time you have. And I love you all for joining me. It means so much to me that you're here. And I am so grateful that I get to share this with you as well. So on that note, have a great Tuesday and we'll see you next week. Bye.